there are many times that people insist that they are uh, in a right AIC pattern when they're really not. And I think I understand why that goes on. And I did make a video uh, probably last year about why you're not a right AIC pattern uh, and how I know you're a left AIC pattern. Essentially, it comes down to the testing. You got to remember there's a difference between the left AIC pattern, which brings the left side, the left side of the pelvis forward and the right side slightly back, relatively speaking. Uh, that is the left AIC pattern. Pelvic orientation is whether the entire pelvis, not the left side or the right side, orientation indicates the, the direction in which the entire pelvis is rotated. So this would be a right orientation, that's my right, and this would be a left orientation. That's not the same as a left AIC pattern. So generally, a left AIC pattern results in a rightward orientation of the pelvis. That's normal, that's what you generally see. Not but, once someone stands up with gravity, and depending on how they're compensating, it's not unheard of to still have the left AIC pattern, but seemingly have your, tor your pelvis oriented to the left, or in the straight ahead, but you know, because a lot of times people are saying, oh no, it's, it's definitely to the left. I was told it's to the left. Again, it might be because once you stand up, your body has to do things to stabilize itself. But it's still in a left AIC pattern. That's the important thing. That, so if your pelvis is oriented to the left, if it truly is, it could be. It doesn't mean that you are a right AIC pattern, which would be the right side forward and the left side back. We want to get you into a right AIC pattern. It's called being on your left leg. But you're not starting out as a right AIC pattern. But so there's just two other things that I want people to realize. Even though most people will sense more weight on the right side, that's the norm. Sometimes people feel more weight on the left side. Can that happen? Are they mistaken? No, that's what they're feeling. But what's what, so that makes them think, again, that they're a right AIC pattern because they feel like they're on their left leg. And they might be on their left leg, but this is the issue. Their pelvis is still turned to the right. So this is what they're doing. Pelvis is still turned to the right. They're still in this left AIC pattern. Pelvis is still likely oriented to the right or could be to the left. It could be oriented to the left, but the left side is still forward compared to the right, so it's not truly on your left leg. If they were on their left leg and the left side goes back, now they're truly on their left leg. That's called what we call left stance or left AFIR. That's really being on your left leg. But just because your weight is shifted to the left and your pelvis is oriented maybe to the left, if the left side of the pelvis is forward compared to the right side, you're still in the left AIC pattern. How would I know? Because it's the adduction drop test. That's what tells you. And what you're going to find is the left leg will not adduct, the right leg will or will not. Uh, but the left AIC pattern, if this left leg does not adduct, so here's adduction, when you're on your left leg, if that can't occur because your pelvis can't shift backwards, you're going to lie someone down on their side, they're going to try to do an adduction drop test, and that left leg is going to be stuck. That indicates a pelvis on the left side that's rotated forward. Now the other thing is, so they're not truly on their left leg, which means they're not truly a right AIC pattern, because that gets confusing also. The right AIC pattern tells is, is the pattern you're using when you're on your left leg appropriately. The left AIC pattern is when you're on your right leg appropriately. Very confusing in the beginning, but that's just how it was named. Okay, the other thing is this. If I shift my weight to the left, and my, in order to do so, I have, uh, unfortunately you can't see my knee, I have, I have limited space right here. If I have to lock my right knee to move my weight to the left, and you can do that for yourself, lock your knee, your pelvis may turn to the left. But the pelvis is not going back on the left side, you're just shifting your body weight to the left by locking your right knee. And that's not going to occur with the right glute. 
you need the right glute to be pushing you forward to the left. When the right glute weakens, you're gonna end up as you're walking, you may just straighten your right knee, which would be a quad, your uh, vastus lateralis. You're gonna be using your quad to rotate you to the left, and that's not really true rotation to the left, it's fake. You're probably gonna be using your back also. Uh, so, if, and again, you can just practice it for yourself. If you stand with your weight slightly shifted to the left, or actually you don't even need to, just lock your knee, does it push you to the left a little bit? That's all I'm doing. Locking my knee and it turns me to the left. So that's what a lot of people are doing and not realizing it. They're not using their glute and their hamstring to push them to the left as the pelvis on the left is moving back with the hamstring that's engaging. So again, this is why two reasons, two, maybe I did more than two reasons, I don't even remember. But those are a couple of reasons why a lot of people think they're the right AIC pattern or they think they're not the norm. They are the norm. They're just compensating in different ways that are causing their pelvis to seem or could be rotated to the left. But again, the issue is if the left side of the pelvis is forward compared to the right, as indicated by the adduction drop test, that's why you have to test. The adduction drop test is telling you the position, not of the leg necessarily, although it is, but of each side of the pelvis. And what you'll find under normal conditions is a left leg that cannot adduct, it cannot adduct, which means the left side of the pelvis is forward, and a right leg that can adduct, which means the right side is back. Uh, sometimes the right side doesn't go down, but it always goes down more easily. Uh, it'll always go, go down first compared to the left. So even if both sides are forward, which can happen, uh, quite often, your right leg will adduct a lot sooner before the left leg does. So even when both sides are forward, the left side is still more forward, which means you're still in this underlying pattern of right dominance. So hopefully that will clear things up for people because that's a question and comment and people seem to be very enthusiastically certain that they are not a left AIC pattern and um, they will continue to think that and they may end up doing things the wrong way and end up kind of hurting themselves and that's never the intent. So hopefully, hopefully that will clear some things up.